Brian Clough was quite understanding that he let you go home sometimes uh, to the yeah, family. Like, yeah. any, like any good manager, you know, he'd, uh, he knew I was a young player, gone off to Ireland and would give me weekends off. Um, I think what helped as well, I went over there and he put me in the first team pretty quickly. So he, um, he obviously was um, obviously a father himself, knew I'd be homesick and would send me back to Ireland at least maybe once a month, which was great for me because, as I said, I was broke into the first team. Not that I was getting big money, but... You know, Brian Clough also kept you grounded, and, uh, and and we talk about sport quite a bit and great sports people. But Brian Clough, for me, on top of everything else, was a good man, which is important. You you you've got to work with good people, you know. You had a lot of respect for him because did he pop at you after you made a mistake against. Yeah, Palace? yeah, yeah. But that was all part of management. He um, threw a punch, did he? Yeah, threw a punch. Yeah. <laughs> did he connect? Yeah, he did. But he uh, no, he just uh, hit me in the chest and. Um, but strange enough, if that happened, now, probably manager would be sacked. But this has gone back, and I, I, I never felt bad about it. I never felt what he'd done to me was wrong. I gave a, a back pass, I don't know, against Crystal Palace in the cup, and they scored from it. So that meant we had a replay, and, and everyone knows, even Brian Clough admitted to it. He never really was a great one for travelling. So we had a replay, which was, you know, going to London, Crystal yeah. Palace, blah blah blah. I know it's not Australia, but it was down to London, and uh, and I came in after the game. And he says, what were you doing with the back pass? And really, it was the goalkeeper's fault, Mark Crosley. <laughs> it was, but obviously, I'm a team player. I took the rap for him. And uh, so he punched me in the chest. And, and I always remember the shock. It was a Wednesday night. And I was that shocked I stayed in after the game. And I, I'd always go after a game to, to Ritzy on a Wednesday night in Nottingham. And um, there's an old teammate of mine. He used to go with me, Raymond Burnley's over there. So I was... Uh, I was that shocked I stayed in, but I, I didn't feel bad about it. I trained the next day. I never felt, um, I never felt angry towards him. That it was out of order. I just thought he was angry. He hit me. Kind of deal with it.